Hello everybody, it's Curiosity back again. I know you've been waiting for this one. So finally, welcome to the physics of free will. I wanted to finish this off in just one video, but the topic is so broad and I hate to say this, that I had to break it down into four. So fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride. Let's get straight into it. But before that, uh, if you want to follow my channel in Hindi or Malayalam, the links to those channels is in the description below. So firstly, I would like to introduce you to a philosophical metaphysical term called determinism and I will run you through a philosophical argument for determinism or supposedly an argument against free will. So determinism is a philosophical view that a complete statement of all the laws of nature and a complete description of the whole universe at a given moment in time entails all of the truths about the universe at any moment in time. That is, given the universe with all its particles and all their momenta and all the forces acting on them and all the laws of nature, the next moment is fixed. And the moment next to it is fixed as well. And the moment next to it is fixed as well and so on and so on. 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 Determinism relies on the principle of cause and effect, that all events in the universe are caused by something else, and that event is caused by something else, and that cause is caused by something else. And so on and so on. And so on and so on. That all events in the universe are determined completely by some previously existing causes. Every event has a cause, and that cause has its own cause, and that cause has its own cause as well, and so on and so on. And so on and so on. And so on and so on. Given the causes, the effects will happen the way they happen. The past state of the universe with all their properties and all the laws of nature guarantee only one possible outcome, which means that the future is set, the future is fixed, the future is locked and we don't have the freedom to change it. Determinism states that for every effect there must be a cause and everything goes back in an eternal chain of cause and effect and every effect is determined by its cause and every cause is in turn determined by its own cause with an effect becoming cause for the next effect and so on and so on. And so on and so on. And so on and so on. In layman terms, everything is caused by something else. And that is caused by something else. And that is caused by something else. And there's an infinite regression here. And so on and so on. And so on and so on. So the determinism argument goes as follows. Premise 1. The universe works based on the laws of the universe. You can call those laws the laws of nature, the laws of physics, or the laws of the universe. Universal law of gravitation, Newton's laws of physics, laws of thermodynamics, laws of conservation of mass and energy, Coulomb's laws, Maxwell's equations, Archimedes' principle, Bernoulli's principle, the fundamental forces of nature, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetism, gravitation, and so on and so on and so on. Premise 2. We can't control the past and the laws of nature. Premise 3. Given the past or the present, that is fixing the initial conditions and the laws of nature, everything that will happen thereafter is fixed. That is, the future is fixed. The future is locked, also known as determinism. Given the universe exists in its present state and given all the laws of nature, the future is locked. Whatever happens in the future can only pan out one way. The laws of nature will act upon the universe and the next moment can only turn out one way. The laws of nature will act upon the universe in the next moment and the next to next moment can only turn out one way. And so on and so on. Everything that happens in the universe is caused by something else. Everything that has ever happened was caused by the previous state of the universe which was caused by the state of the universe prior to it, and so on and so on. All these sequence of events can be traced back to the Big Bang. That specific arrangement of gas and molecules led to the formation of stars and planets, which led to the creation of life, which led to the evolution of man, 
and some of you now wondering what the hell is this guy talking about premise four we are also a part of the universe our wills are made by our brains our brains are organs they are made of tissues which are made of cells which are made of compounds which are made of atoms which are made of electrons protons and neutrons which are made of quarks and so on and so on which ultimately follow and are governed by the fundamental laws of nature so basically, determinism is trying to say that our wills are inevitable consequences of ever-increasing entropy in the universe in which particles are constantly knocking against each other seeking lower energy states. Premise 5 Since the future is fixed, we can't do otherwise than what we actually end up doing. Premise 6 Free will requires the ability to do otherwise. We discussed this in the first video, link is in the i button above. Conclusion: Determinism implies free will does not exist. This means in a nutshell that everything that happens in the universe, the whole story of the universe in its every single detail was determined at the Big Bang. We are just watching it play out. Fascinating isn't it? I know this video is quite short and precise. I hope you've understood it. If you haven't, just watch it again and again and so on and so on. <laughs> so on and 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 so on. I've broken this down intentionally. I know this will keep you interested. Otherwise, the video would have been too long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I will discuss quantum indeterminacy in a future video. So just wait for it. <laughs> Don't worry, the next video is going to be out next week, hopefully. So stay tuned and stay curious. Like, share, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. Laters. Vietnam, yes, and so on. Azerbaijan, and so on. Africa, and so on, and so on. Singapore, and so on. Argentina, Chile, and so on. Chicago, and so on. Romania, Hungary, and so on. West Berlin, and so on. Ukraine, and so on, and so on. Racist cliches, and so on. Choice, and so on. Binary logic, and so on. Using it, and so on, and so on. Marginalized, and so on. Correct rules, and so on, and so on. Suffering and so on and so on, living beings and so on.